Well, good morning, everyone. Um, a little different this morning. I usually go down by the ocean, but I rode the loop this morning. It's uh, 7.25 now, but um, wow, I actually enjoy the loop um, more than uh, the ocean uh, in the morning. Never come in the morning like this before. A little bit of the loop here. A lot of cars on the uh, High Bridge Road even this morning. Had a bike a biker jamming up traffic there. He's got all kinds of red things. He's got all these cars on the loop early in the morning, 725. Wouldn't think there would be, but there is. I guess some of them go to work there. See, here's the loop. Nice. 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 Nice loop. So, anyway, uh, put this thing up here, I think. Got a holder up here. Yeah, it works better. I don't know if it's better or not. Maybe it should come down here. I don't know. Look it up here. Got it on like this arm thing. That maybe it's better to slide on. Anyway, um, I'd like to be with God in the morning. I feel sorry for people that wake up late and rush around all day and in turmoil. A world in turmoil. I met God in the morning. When my day was at its best. And his presence came like sunrise, like a glory in my breast. All day long his presence lingered, all day long he sailed with me. He stayed with me, and we sailed with perfect calmness. Or a very troubled sea. Other ships were blown and battered, other ships were sore distressed. But the winds that seemed to drive them brought to me a peace and rest. Then I thought of other mornings with a keen remorse of mine when I too had left the moorings with the presence left behind. So I think I know the secret learned from many a troubled way. You must meet God in the morning. Meet God in the morning if you want him through the day. I want to help people. Sad thing is, so many don't want help. They love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Good reading this morning. Hezekiah died. Everybody going to die. Learning the man who wants to die and end the judgment. He was a good king. Back there in Second Kings, uh, 20, 21, 22. He begged God, Oh Lord, I've been a good king. I've just said no thing. God give him 15 more years to live. He's all oh, prove it to me, Lord. Should have the sun dial go forward 15 degrees or back. This guy said, make it go back. It's always going forward. Make it go back. And it did. Gave him 15 more years. Sad thing is, in them 15 years, when Hezekiah died, he had a wicked son named Manasseh. You know why his son was wicked? He had a wicked mother. What was her name? I look in the Bible here. Yeah, I got a Bible. This is a nice Bible. It's, it's kind of thin and nice, but uh, I don't know. I used to have five pair of glasses in here, and I got none in this car now but sunglasses. I thought I got to have. I must have just be snatching them out of here. Vanessa was 12 years old when it began to rain. Reigned fifty and five years in Jerusalem, 
And his mother's name was Hepzibah. Hepzibah, wicked mother. Had a godly father and a wicked mother. Sad, isn't it? Many times in a family, you have some that are godly and some that are wicked. You're sad. 52 years at that point. He got all that tells you. You can read it. You need to read the Bible every day. Second Kings 20, 21, and 22 today. And it tells you about uh, the wickedness of. Then, let's see, who was the other one? The other son here. Reading today. I learned to love the Bible and read it. Chapter 22, that was beginning of 21, Manasseh with a wicked mother. Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign. Now, how can a king be eight? No, you know, his people around him, just like Manasseh with his wicked mother, Hepzibah, turned him to wickedness, 52 years king. And then Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign and was reigned 30 one years in Jerusalem and his mother's name was I have a hard time seeing this and I'm glasses. Jedi Jedida Jedida the daughter of can't read this thing. Adina uh, told her, didn't tell, told the wicked mother's name of Massa. Jose had even gave her daddy. Thought he was a good man. Great influence on others. Mothers and fathers do, for good or evil. Everybody stands on our own merits, you know. I don't know who I was talking to. I think my grandson, Andrew. He made some mention. Some whatever, I don't know. Oh, I guess his parents are looking through. Family tree and that. Looking at their ancestry <laughs> don't really interest me much. I love my godly heritage. And then Mama and Daddy, they were missionaries, loved the Lord, saved. Had a grandma and grandpa on both sides. I'm just, as far as I know, third generation Christians, probably some in the background, some were back there too, but godliness. Righteousness exalted the nation. Sin is a reproach. Who my ancestors were don't mean much. Some of them were good, some of them were bad. I come from Adam and Eve, I know that. <laughs> people make a fuss. I mean, they even. So many people. <laughs> That's a noisy motorcycle. Won't even go in that fast, make all that noise. Yeah. These people make such a big deal about their ancestry. They're taking DNA to check ancestry. Be quiet. Foolishness. I care about God. I care about the Bible. I know one thing. I was some. Oh, well, what was it? Dad, that's what. That, it was Jackson. I don't know. One of my grandkids is saying. Oh, and 
we had this heritage and and uh, but they weren't with them bad people <laughs> there's all kinds of bad people in our history had some German in history and they said we were with them Nazis I don't worry about it. you had some Nazis in your background were <laughs> some wicked people make a big fuss about nothing all come from sin Adam and Eve Heart of man is wicked. Need to be redeemed. Born again. You got it there, Manasseh. Wicked mother. What was the other guy's name? Josiah Godly. Good mother. They have good relatives, can have bad ones. Everyone stands on their own merit. That's what I told. I think it was Jackson. Branson. This says everybody stands on their own merits. Don't matter who your grandma. Don't matter who your ancestry is. Come from Adam and Eve, sinners. But for us by one man sin entered into the world and death by sin and so death passed upon all men. We get hearts all through the ages. I think we ought to focus more on godliness than blood relatives. <laughs> Making a big fuss about it now, man. Kin folks. I ain't making no fuss about it. Don't mean a hill of beans to me. Godliness. Influence your relatives for godliness. All this other kumbaya stuff. Get the family together. Have a big group hug. <laughs> Wicked or evil or whatever. Just, well, we're family. Who is my mother? Who is my father? Who is my sister? Who is my brother? Those that do the will of my father. That's what Jesus said. So People in a big mess because of their families these days. But I'm going to stick with the family. Even if they're wicked as the devil. God help us. Then we go to John chapter 6 today. Oh, it's a long chapter. Got 70 some verses. Bread come down from heaven. Then has some disciples like we do down. John chapter 6. So called disciples. They went back. Yeah. Couldn't take it. Couldn't take total commitment. So you got total commit to Christ. Forget your little Mickey Mouse church activity. Forget your little social club church. Heartfelt Christianity. Loving righteousness. Man, it's starting to rain. I'm at Roma Windows though. Huh, kind of like Sunshine, it's raining. That's only in Florida to do that. Roll the windows up. Uh, turn this off again. Yeah, they went back. The disciples went back. First John, I read it every night before I go to bed. They went out from us, for they were not of us. They had been of us. They would have stuck with us. That's what First John says, but they were not of us, so they went. They went out, went back. So-called disciples go back, turn from the truth, go back to worldliness, go back to worldliness. So-called churches and stuff. Got a lot of that today, don't we? Foolishness. Get right with God, friend. Get saved if you're not. You're backslidden, get right with God. Oh, I see so many preachers and on and on. Turn them back, going a different way. They turn back. 
Yeah. John 6. So-called disciples turned back. They went out from us. That's the way it is. True Christianity takes total commitment. Don't you forget it. New. New creature. Old things passed away. All things become new. Got the real deal? You're loving God, loving the Bible. Yeah. Walk in the light. He is in the light. Fellowship one with another. Fellowship with the Father. Fellowship with the Son. And the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. Loop on the sunrise today. I like it. I kind of like it better than the ocean. Live for God. Read your Bible. Tell someone about Jesus today if you're saved. Every Christian's duty to be a soul winner. God bless you. Talk to you later.